Aaron Goile last updated 1911 the 25th of June 2018 Andrew Cornaga Photosport All Blacks lock Brody Retallick could be back for the Chiefs next weekend against the Brumbies. Getty Images lock loose forward Tyler Ardern is available again after concussion. Michael Bradley, Getty Images flanker Lachlan Bushier is a chance for this weekend after overcoming appendicitis. Dave Rowland, Getty Images prop Nepo Lalala is still a couple of weeks away after complications with his broken arm. Michael Bradley, Getty Images hooker Nathan Harris has been given paternal leave this week by coach Colin Cooper. Rugby There is mixed news on the injury front for the Chiefs, as they prepare to reload their Super Rugby campaign against the Highlanders in Fiji this weekend. The most encouraging for the team's fans is that All Blacks lock, and general inspiration, Brody Retallick could be back from his pectoral muscle tear a bit sooner than expected, as early as next weekend against the Brumbies in Hamilton. The colossal second rower had suffered the injury in the last game before the international break, against the Crusaders in Hamilton on June 2nd, and had been slated to be out for around six weeks, coinciding with the start of the playoffs. Added to that positivity is that lock, loose forward Tyler Ardern is available again after concussion sidelined him from the Chiefs' last two games before the break and saw him miss Canada's three test matches, and that flanker Lachlan Bushier is a possibility for Saturday in Suva, having recovered from appendicitis which struck him down early last month. Fred Moore, asterisk 2 backs Hansen stance asterisk Vermulen out of Ebbs tests asterisk Scott the best Barrett. Asterisk law changes rugby needs the not so good news is that progress is slow for all. Blacks prop Nepo Lalala following complications with the healing of the arm he broke back on March 16th, with his earliest return set to be the final round fixture against the Hurricanes in Hamilton. Fellow props Kane Hames and Mitchell Graham seem unlikely to be cited this season, with the former still working his way through concussion issues and the latter still battling a leg injury. Add feedback the Chiefs will this weekend also be without hooker Nathan Harris, who departed All Blacks camp ahead of the third test against France for the birth of his first child, and who has been given the week off by coach Colin Cooper following the new arrival. First 5 8 Damian McKenzie and center Anton Leinert Brown still have one game to sit out due to All Blacks stand-down requirements too, but Cooper confirmed neither would miss this weekend. The Chiefs effectively have to win their remaining three games and have other results go their way if they are to keep alive their slim hopes of earning second spot in the New Zealand Conference, and with it a home quarterfinal. The 34-20 defeat to the Crusaders was a fourth loss in their past seven games, but with time to rest, reflect and regroup, Cooper is full of belief his side can still be playing in the final. We are very confident, we believe we're going to be there on August 4th, he said. And the whole focus is week by week to make sure we're there. Following the Crusaders' fixture, the Chiefs players had 11 days apart, with Cooper getting his troops to switch off a bit psychologically. We didn't want to have a physical break, it was more a mental break, so it was an opportunity to get better physically. And the boys came in really really excited, and, I was, very pleased with some of the PBs that were going on when they came back. The squad then played a friendly against the Hurricanes in Hawera last Thursday, losing 43-38 after leading 31-14 at halftime, in a match where Cooper used a starting type lineup in the first 40 and an inexperienced crew win the second stanza. The Chiefs travel to Fiji on Wednesday morning, where they will this time be the away team, having taken home matches against the Crusaders there the past two years. Not that Cooper believes that will make too much difference to who the locals choose to support. Having been to Fiji a number of times, they love rugby. I'm sure both teams will put a spectacle on. We'll just try and inspire and influence them to play rugby, stuff.